Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly crave your indulgence to please subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Also guys, please share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world. Thank you guys, I appreciate your support. Breaking! Obaseki nails God for that reason as he is re-elected governor of Edo State. The candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Godwin Obaseki, has won the September 19, 2020 governorship election in Edo State. He won in a landslide, pulling 307,955 votes against the All Progressive Congress Osage Izeyamo, who clinched 223,600. 19 votes. The historic win, according to analysts, may have finally put Godfatherism in the back seat in Edo politics, and by extension, Lagos and the whole of Nigeria. Obaseki has made history as a godson who confronted his godfather headlong and emerged victorious in spite of what many described as federal might. All eyes are now on the October 10 Ondo state governorship election, where the incumbent Governor Rotimi Akeredolu is up against Eitai Ojegede of the PDP and the Deputy Governor of the state, Abuola Ajayi of the Zenith Labour Party. Godwin Obaseki, the governor of Edo State, flood all governorship candidates in Oriwa local government area of the state. Obaseki's closest rival, Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu of the All Progressive Congress, APC, hails from Oriwa local government area of the state. Results announced by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, showed that Obaseki, who is the governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, polled 13,445 votes, while Ize Yamu garnered 10,458 votes in Onoma local government area, which is the local government area of Pastor Ize Yamu, the candidate of the APC. After all results have been announced, Obaseki wins with over 84,000 votes as Edo decides who will lead them in the next four years. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has declared Godwin Obaseki, the executive governor of Edo State, as the winner of the just concluded governorship election in the state. Mr. Obaseki, who ran on the platform of the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, scored 307,955 votes to defeat his closest rival and major opponent, Osage Ize Iyamo, who is the candidate of the All Progressive Congress, and polled 223,619 votes. A total of 14 political parties participated in the September 19 exercise, but results have shown that it was a race between Mercedes Obaseki and Ize Iyamo. While the latter enjoys the backing of Adam Soshomole, the governor's predecessor, the PDP candidate said his achievement in office will speak for him. The governor who won the 2016 gubernatorial poll while in APC had Ize Iyamo as his top challenger at the time. He fell out politically with his predecessor, who played a vital role in disqualifying him from using the platform of the National Ruling Party on account that the same academic qualifications he submitted while seeking the position is now deceptive. 
after his disqualification, the governor, after consulting with his supporters, decamped to the PDP and secured the ticket of the state ruling party. So, as it is, it is now all over. INEC has announced and declared PDP candidate Governor Godwin Obaseki as the winner of the 2020 election in Edo State. Governor Godwin Obaseki defeated Ize Iyamu of the APC with 307,955 votes as against 223,619 votes. So kudos to the governor of Edo State. Uh, Edo State Governor Gordon Obaseki now will now be return elected uh, to continue governing the state for another four years, totaling eight years, you know, that he will be the governor of the state. Well, kudos to the governor of Edo State and kudos to the people of Edo State for standing by their votes, for voting, coming out in mass to vote, and also standing by their votes to avoid any form of rigging and any form of tampering with their vote. This is what democracy is all about. If elections are this way, this true and, uh, you know, free and fair, a lot of things should be made easy. And the people's choices would not be subverted, as we have seen in previous elections held in this country. Now it is now the right time for um, the President, Muhammad Buhari, to uh, sign the Electoral Reform Bill into law so that the INEC can improve on uh, elections. It is what it is. Congratulations to the people of Edo State. Congratulations to Godwin Obaseki for winning the election that was clearly contested, you know, in Edo State. Kudos to all those who participated, all those who worked hard to ensure and make sure that uh, the PDP coasted to victory. So, Godwin Obaseki should now go back to the drawing board and ensure that he is able to carry along the people of Edo State and repay the confidence that they reposed in him and ensure that they, he delivers the dividends of democracy to the people of Edo State. This is what would uh, ensure that whoever is going to take over from him eventually will uh, gain the support of the people. So the confidence that the people has reposed in him, he has to pay them by ensuring and making sure, or giving them the needed uh, dividends of democracy, as it were. Kudos to the people of Edo State. Kudos to the governor of Edo State and shame to uh, Oshomole and uh, uh, Tinubu who felt that they could use their federal might and money to buy the people of Edo State. Well, it is what it is. Now the end has come. Kudos to all those. Now attention will be shifted to uh, Undo State election that is coming up next month, October the 10th in Undo State. So this is what we see. It is. This is what the well, people talk about. This is what we expect in an election that was keenly contested. All right, guys, what are your thoughts so far concerning this particular news story as it is? A Do State ele uh, governorship election has finally come to an end, and there is a winner of the election in the person of Godwin Obaseki of the PDP. A Do is now PDP. Having been APC for over a period of time, now Edo State is PDP. Let, well, we'll bring you further reports as to how the, well, the response of the governor of um, Edo State, as it is, Governor Obaseki, and that of the PDP uh, as well, PDP candidate, uh, other governors of the PDP. Congratulatory messages will be pouring in now. People will be celebrating. Jubilation would have hit the streets of Edo State and some other parts of the country in celebration of um, Godwin Obaseki's victory at uh, the polls. So guys, what are your thoughts? Has Obaseki been able to defeat Godfatherism in Edo State and it, at large in Nigeria as it were? Well, it remains to be seen. Drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Well, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. 
Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now. All right, guys. See you later.